Hey guys, this is Matt from Rugged Black. Today we're going to be reviewing 10,000's interval shorts and compare them to our active workout shorts. So let's get started. First, we have 10,000's interval shorts. Now, these are their best-selling shorts. They have over 7,000 reviews and a 4.8 rating. So that's really, really good. Some of the features of these shorts is they have a wide, smooth, comfort waistband up top with a drawstring enclosure with plastic tips. They have a faux fly for a more professional, modern look. They have two side pockets that are flapped, but on the right pocket, they have a small enclosure for um, your keys or, or money or credit cards. Some of the reviewers talk about how this is actually too small for a phone. So there's not a lot of uh, pocket space in these shorts. So <clears throat> this is me trying to, this is how far my hand goes in the um, zippered pocket, but the larger pocket is a little bit, the flat pocket is a little bit um, wider. So around the back, you can see that there's no back pockets on these, which doesn't seem to be a problem for a lot of the CrossFitters that, that wear these shorts. They're made of 86% polyester and 14% spandex. Some of the features of that fabric is it's moisture wicking, it is quick dry, and it's very, very comfortable. That's one of the things that the reviewers said about these shorts is the comfort of these shorts. Now, they claim that these are four-way stretch, but as you can see, it doesn't stretch a lot on the horizontal, but it stretches a little bit more vertically. So I would say it's more two-way stretch than four-way stretch, but the versatility and the comfort of these pants are not a problem per the reviewers. And I can definitely second that when I wear these. So these are the interval shorts and they will set you back $68 for the liner option and 64 for the liner less option. So let me get, let you see the liner real quick, which is very, very premium, very soft. <clears throat> Secondly, we have Rugged Black's active workout shorts. Our shorts are made of 88% nylon and 12% spandex. Now the difference between the polyester in the interval shorts, as opposed to the nylon is the nylon is just a softer, more stretchy fabric. Polyester doesn't cost as much as nylon, but nylon we think adds some more benefits far as comfort, far as stretchiness, that is definitely helpful in the workout shorts. Similar to the interval shorts, have the smooth comfort waistband and the drawstring, um, drawstring on the inside. Instead of the plastic tips, we went with the, the metal tips, with the metal gold tips. The features of these shorts, they have two side zippered pockets instead of the flap. And these are the big beefy zippers. And as you can see, my whole hand can get in there. It's, I have large hands, so my hand can fit in there. So you have more than enough pocket room. Um, on the back, there is one zippered pocket on the back. So if you wanted to go straight from the gym to your car to errands, these are definitely versatile for, versatile for that. Um, some of the other features of these shorts, instead of being moisture wicking and quick drying, these are 100% waterproof. I'll do a close up later and show you that water will not soak into these. So when you're doing a workout, you're, not, you're gonna be completely dry the entire time. Um, it also has a premium liner on the inside 
which is very comfortable and very convenient when you're doing CrossFit style workouts. Um, these pants are $20 cheaper than the interval uh, shorts. And we have nine reviews and they're all five stars. So the, the people that have bought these absolutely love them. So I'm gonna try each one of these on so you can compare the fit and um, see what you think. So first we have the interval shorts by 10,000. Um, as you can see, it, there's not a lot of room in the zippered pocket on the right side, but it can easily fit my hand on the side pockets. They are very stretchy. They are very comfortable. Um, I am 6'2", 260. So uh, I wear a double XL in these and here's a view of the liners. They have medium compression, but they do feel good around my big legs. I really enjoy the feature of the split hem on the bottom. You can tell that this is not gonna have any restrictions, but I do find myself having to adjust these shorts pretty much just because I'm a little bit heavier guy, so the bigger size doesn't fit me as well, but all in all, the compression is good and it fits well. And here we have the active workout shorts from Rugged Black. As you can see, these are a little bit roomier, even though they are a size smaller than the 10,000s interval shorts. They are comfortable. The waistband is a little bit wider up top, so it's a little bit more comfortable than the interval shorts. The pockets are big. I wish we had that split hem on the side, so we'll have to add that in the next iterations. The back pocket is big enough for my big hands. So you can fit your keys, phone, wallet, whatever. But all in all, super comfortable. I'll give you a shot. Here's the compression liner, which is a little bit less compression than the interval shorts, but it's a lot more comfortable. It's still the same performance. So you can see the stretchiness of the fabric. And here is our other color in these shorts. So just give you a, an idea what it looks like. So. All in all, very comparable, just $20 cheaper. We hope you found this video helpful trying to find your perfect workout shorts. Today we compared 10,000s interval shorts and compared them to our active workout shorts. If you wanted to try a pair of our active workout shorts, we'll leave a promo code in the description. And please, would you consider liking and subscribing this video? You don't know how much it helps us out. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, um, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you ASAP. So until next time, stay rugged.